Hello ladies, today we're going to discuss with you two big topics. First of all, your capstone part two and the negotiation plan, how you should write the perfect negotiation plan. And second of all, the preparation for your CBT exam. Before we start with negotiation, I'd like to remind you that I've created for you the Telegram channel where you can revise all the important topics in a form of the game. So if you just click this link, you will automatically join the Telegram channel. Here you can click join. Use it on your phones because it will look like that. The moment you join Telegram channel, it will remind you the game. So you just choose the correct answer and then you will see the balloons or the fireworks if your answer is right or you will see the red light if the answer is wrong. It's going to be really funny to revise all the vocabulary via Telegram channel because you will have all these balloons and clapping and fun stuff. And at the same time, you can always go back and revise the words, see how many people made mistakes. So, for example, here you see that uh, only 20% gave the correct answer and everybody else chosen the wrong answer and when we go for example here you see that 75 percent of people have chosen the correct answer so again that's a nice revision that's a nice touch to get ready for your exams in an unconventional way and also you can join the vocational chat yeah, and here you can ask questions. You see that people are asking questions here, sending what they think about the qu quizzes. So the moment something's wrong, you ask question. And the other thing is I'm the um, admin of this channel, so you will be able to see my phone number, my Telegram phone number. And if anything goes wrong, you don't understand something, that's a quick way to contact me. Let's discuss your capstone part two. Part two is about negotiation plan, where you will have to do lots of reading, lots of background search, and as a result of that, you will have to produce the plan, the negotiation plan. You have 150 minutes to complete this task, and if you're not sure in any word, either the pronunciation or the spelling or the translation, you should use the dictionary, like here. Now let's discuss the quiz. The quiz will consist of six big questions and all of the questions are connected to the negotiation plan. Before you start, you will have to revise the order of business negotiation plan. So what you should do first, second and third. Again, as I told you previously, your most important information while you're getting ready for this type of questions are keywords how you are writing the business plan, you will start with the details. So question number two is about your scenario. You are working for a Toyota luxury car in your exam, you will be working for a different company and you will have the details of what you are doing and why. Here I prepared for you the list of questions that you have to find the answers for before you start writing your plan. You cannot write the plan if you don't know the answers for these questions, because your plan is based on these questions. Questions are like where you work, which item you need to sell, because if you do not know what exactly you are selling, you cannot write the negotiation plan. You're working for a Toyota company. Toyota is a huge company. You need to know exactly what your plan for. Is it a big car or a small car? A luxury car or a mass market car? Is it an SUV for big families? Or is it a small car for one or two people maximum? Without these details, you can't plan your negotiation strategy. And there are other questions that you have to know the answers to. After you have read the scenario and you know exactly what when, how, why you're going to do, you need to read the background of your companies. You will have two backgrounds, the background of your client's company and your company's background. Here is an example with your 
client company. So you read the details of who they are, you understand exactly what they want, what their business model, what they do, how they do that, and based on that you will prepare the negotiation plan with them because every client needs his or her own negotiation plan. So here you will have a chance to read the background of al Kahtani Motors company and you will have to understand the following details. To understand them I prepared for you the matching task. On the left you have the information from the text, the language of the text and that is exactly the same language that you will have in your capstone exam. On the right, you have the more detailed way of saying the same. So, for example, if you say uh, has been established for five years, what it means? It means that the company is in the market for five years. Or if you sell outsell the competition for 90%, that is a very professional phrase, which means they sell 90% more than their competitors. So that is why they outsell the competition. And based on that information, you know that your client is the biggest company in the whole region because they control 90% of the market. And there are the words, again, these are business words, business phrases. And you know that business phrases are very short and has lots of information inside. And then on the right, you have the detailed explanation what exactly that is. After you have completed your homework, and that's what we call homework in negotiation preparation, you have to check the background of the companies, you have to check the scenario, you have to check the market researches, the pipeline and everything. That's all together is called homework. After you've completed your homework, you will have chance to revise the negotiation strategies. So here for you, I prepared the five keys of B2B sales negotiation. So since you are Toyota company and you're selling to al Kahtani Motors, we're talking about B2B sales negotiations. Remember that B2C, business to customer, will have completely different way. But since we are talking about B2B, that's what we pay attention to. Now, here you have the step on the left. For example, only enter into a negotiation when you have an agreement in the principle. And then here you have the explanation of what it means. So you go through that, discount, no, conversation, no, you should agree first on the item. Yes, that's what it is. So you should agree first on the item that you're selling, its benefits for customers and other non-money topics, non-monetary topics. Price and discounts are not principal. You cannot start your negotiation from price. First of all, you have to agree on the product. For example, you're selling luxury car. Toyota has a line of luxury cars. You need to decide what exactly you need. You need a premium car for uh, executive, or you need a premium land cruiser car that is able to travel through the desert, or you need to sell the uh, everyday mass market car. If it's mass market car, what kind of market segment you're talking about? So you cannot start your negotiation without agreeing on the principle what exactly you're selling. And then there are other pieces of advice that will be helpful when you prepare the negotiation. Whenever you are going into a negotiation, you need to understand what kind of negotiation you are waiting for. You are talking about one-time negotiation, when you just go in there, discussing some stuff, and 95% you will never come back. Or you are starting a repeated negotiation. So you start, it's the first meeting, it's a kickoff meeting, and then you will face a long process. By the way, that's a typo here, sorry for that. And you also need to understand what exactly your client is. 
is it B2B negotiation? So it means your client is a big company or is it B2C negotiation and your client is a customer? Because again, your negotiation plan will depend on this information. After you have completed the quiz and you still have some questions, you can easily Google negotiation plan template and just have a look at how different companies are getting ready for negotiation plan. That is a very good idea to see what's the most important in preparation. The first one here, you see that you have just two columns, ours and theirs, and then the details, goals, interest, known facts. Another type of negotiation template, the detailed one, really detailed one, for example, preparation, objectives, yeah, worst, worst case, best case, introduction, the names, the agenda, opening and establishing position, clarifying position. Another type of template here, easy, hard, something else. Yeah, so my advice to you, after you've completed the quiz, just go to Google and go through, surf through different types of templates because, again, that's the best way for you to understand what's important and what's not. If you have any questions, you know my email, you know my Skype, you also know my Telegram now and you have the Telegram channel where you can ask questions. So, like five different options to ask questions. Address questions that you don't understand. You know, there are no bad questions. Ask everything that's not clear. Wish you good luck with your capstone part two and have a great week.